Progressive Prodigal Zebras by Katie Swank. Stripes blended in with his group. He was happy with his troop until the day he saw a lion and so impressed he said, I'm trying. I'm going to be that guy right there. He's so strong and look at his hair. The zebra thing isn't so great. I think I'll try another state. So Stripes went and talked to Joe. Joe perked up and said, let's go, let's go. Dazzle was their loving dad. He heard their words and said, so sad. That is not a wise decision. You will fail in this new mission. Why a lion and not my son? Such confusion, what's come undone? You don't get it, old man, Stripe said. This new idea, it's great. Don't dread. The end result will make us more than being a zebra did before. Shaking his head, Dazzle could not convince. So off he went, his son the prince. He needed to learn, needed to grow. In sadness, Dazzle watched his son go. Stripes and Joe put on some sticks around their necks and tried some tricks to rub the stripes right off their skin. But that just made a rash begin. That didn't work. We'll forget that. Let's go hang with that cool cat. Up they walked and said, hello. The slant-eyed lion didn't show any interest in making a friend. A low-toned growl made them defend. They took off fast and said, fee you. That was close. This can't be true. Those cats are great. We can't be excluded. We just want to be included. That club should open to everyone. We have to try some tricks, be fun. Then they'll see we do belong. They'll welcome us before too long. So they danced and told a joke. They entertained till sweat was broke. Knock, knock. <whistles> they slumped into a tired pile. The distance between them was only a mile. But if they tried to sneak any closer, the lion would growl and say, No, sir, you don't belong to this pride. You aren't like us. You better hide. Because my stomach, it's starting to churn. And you look yummy. Lips started to turn and show the teeth in her jaw. Stripes and Joe said in awe, We just need a little more time. We'll be lions. This is no crime. Days, they passed and there was no food. The meat the lions ate was somewhat crude. They tried their best to eat it too, but it made them stink and smell bad. Ew. <laughs> Joe said stripes, this is so dumb. I don't know why I left dad and mom. I miss the herd, I miss our friends. This new life here, it's just pretend. We can't be lions, we're different, it's good. We're beautiful, same. And now we should go back home and say we're sorry. This is not fun, this is not glory. Let's go home, brother. They will forgive us. We can't change how we are made. We need to be proud of how God gave us all unique looks and skills. We can't change that. Nothing will. I'm going back, no matter what, brother. This is not happy. I miss our mother. So, Joe got up and left, went back. He was forgiven, with no love lack. They celebrated with joy to see him again. They said, you're home. We missed you, friend. The joy Joe felt to do the right thing, to be himself and try to bring his confused brother back with him. But Stripes chose to stay, and the sky grew dim. He wished his brother chose the right way, but that is choice, that is his say. Joe keeps hoping that one day he'll find a happy ending, but we must remind ourselves that sin is never okay. Don't give up, choose the right way. Don't try to be something you're not. Be thankful that God gave you what you've got. 
So be a champion in your skin. That is the only way to truly win. You can't cancel what God designed. And if you try, you will find a confused zebra acting like a lion, so alone and yet still trying. And if you see that subtle sight, get out of there and do what's right. Follow Jesus. His way is true. Remember you're special. All of you.